Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Caitlin Canute with KSHB 41 News. Here are your headlines this Wednesday. We're learning more today about the circumstances that led to a baby dying in a house fire in Shawnee last month. According to an affidavit that was unsealed today, the child's father, Nicholas Ecker, who's facing murder and arson charges, arrived to the home without being contacted and told police he went there because he had, quote, a bad feeling. The document also states that Carly Mae Phelps, the boy's mother, who is charged with involuntary manslaughter and child endangerment, was not home at the time of the fire. It says she admitted to leaving the infant alone in his crib while she went to Wyandotte County. We also learned today an autopsy performed on the baby shows the infant was still alive at the start of the fire. People throughout the Kansas City Metro are wearing orange and blue today to support the students and staff at Olathe East High School after Friday's school shooting. The two victims, the athletic director and assistant principal, Dr. Caleb Stoppel, and the school resource officer, Eric Clark, are at home and recovering. The superintendent says he's been in touch with both of them and said they're in good spirits and doing well. The suspect, Jalen Elmore, an Olathe East student, is still in the hospital facing an attempted capital murder charge. We're preparing for snow across the metro. MoDOT says crews will be working 12-hour shifts and have been out since Tuesday laying down a salt brine. They've been able to get a head start on treating thanks to the lack of freezing rain or sleet. Speaking of that forecast, here's Wes Peary. The snowfall begins around 4 a.m. for Kansas City. In fact, from 4 a.m. till noon, we could pick up 1 to 4 inches. After that, from about noon to 8 p.m., we could pick up 1 to 2. And then an additional second round of snowfall is possible into the evening and the afternoon. Generally about 4 to 8 inches for a lot of us across metro Kansas City with temperatures in the 20s during the day. You can get your news and weather at any time at KSHB.com.